What's up everyone, Danny Line I'm back with another CSR2 video. We are checking out the Porsche RWB 911 F Series Naro style today. It's a tier four car. We're gonna do a stage five shift pattern in tune. We're gonna do a stage six shift pattern in tune. And we're gonna see if we can find a live racing setup and do a review on the car. So let's get to it. But first, thank you to Astro Speed the King. There's a link to his YouTube channel in this video's description. I'm using his account today to make this video. I don't have this car upgraded on mine, so thank you, Asho. Let's get to it. This is the maxed out shift pattern in tune, and then we'll move on to the other stuff. So when you have all the stage six parts installed and all the fusion parts installed, nitrous goes to 235 and 5.0, final drive down to 3.16, and tire pressure is on 8 PSI. That's going to give the car a dyno time of a 10.056. And to drive it, we're going to pretty much try and get a perfect start. Around 20 or 30 miles per hour shift into second. Shortly after third, fourth, nitrous. And then all shifts right before the red line after that. All right, let's give that a try. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, nitrous. Fifth gear. And that's all she wrote. Very easy car to drive. Not much to it. So far, I like it. So far, I like it, I like it, me likey a lot. And 10.078, not a bad time. Now we're gonna go ahead and fit the car to stage five parts only and do the stage five shift pattern in tune. And then we'll do a review and a live racing setup if we can find a good live racing setup that is. When you have all the stage five parts and all the fusions installed, nitrous at 166 and 2.9, Final drive over to 2.90 and tire pressure on 29 and 71 with 18 PSI. And that gives us a dyno of a 12.583, 12.583 on the dyno. Okay, so to run the best time for me, what I'm doing is trying to get a perfect start shortly after shifting the second, shortly after that shifting the third, and then hit my nitrous all the shifts before the red line after that. Three, two, one, go. Second, third nitrous. Fourth gear. And we're not gonna shift into fifth. We're just gonna go ahead and let that run out. Hands off. We're driving with no hands. Look, mom, no hands. Yay. Okay. In there, we should have got a 12.5 something, which is a pretty decent time overall. Okay, so I tried really hard to find a good live racing setup for this car, but it's just it's just not there just not there so let's go ahead and do a review on this thing so will this car beat tempest 3 tier 4 it doesn't really seem to have the top speed i think it does have the acceleration but i would say no this car is not going to make it all the way through without having to change cars when you get to the top speed races, you have to do over 260 miles per hour, and this car doesn't really seem to be able to do that. So my overall thoughts on this car are, it's an okay car. Would I upgrade this one? Well, not unless I absolutely needed it for something. It doesn't really stand out to me in any way. It's just another tier four car that's been added to the game. That's a... Uh, gonna sit there and look pretty in your garage i don't think it's gonna be a great live racer it doesn't have great top speed however it does have nice acceleration so it's got that going for it the acceleration's good i mean it runs a 10 something which isn't too bad so overall i'm gonna just say this car is just kind of okay upgraded if you need it for an event or something but besides that i would let it set and collect dust until you actually need it for something if you enjoy content like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I would definitely appreciate that a lot. Again, check out Asho Speed the King on YouTube. I was using his account today since I don't have this maxed out on my account. So thank you, Asho. Link to his channel down in the video's description along with my Discord server. Uh, my buddy owns it and runs it. So that's the Lightning Fans Discord. You might want to check that out. There's a merch store. You can get some cool Danny Lightning gear. You can find a link to that in the video's description. If you really want to help support the channel, you can also hit the thank you button or the join button down below the video. We would definitely appreciate that a lot. If you can do it, sweet. If you can't, that's okay too. I just want to say thank you to all the channel members. Thank you to everybody who watches the videos and comes to hang out on the live streams and stuff. 
You guys are awesome. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.